here with your Sunline recap from the Bassmaster Classic 2018 down in Lake Hartwell and this is the only trophy I came home with. It's the plaque that you get for qualifying for the Classic. Very proud of it but it's not the trophy I wanted to take home. Very proud of it because it shows of all the work I did last year just to get to that tournament but once I got there I developed a couple deals in practice. None of them were about largemouth. I could not figure out the largemouth and how to get those things going for anything. I mean, I tried all, even during the tournament, I tried new stuff, new areas, new techniques, and could not figure them out. But those spotted bass, I had two different deals going. One was where I could catch an eight to 10 pound limit and I could catch a good number of fish. It was up in a little bit more stained water. What I was doing is I was running secondary points with the old Carolina rig had a seven foot three inch cash and medium heavy rod, 20 pound Sunline shooter, 12 pound Sunline sniper on my leader. And as you can see, it's probably a two and a half, three foot leader, something like that. Half ounce uh, cylindrical weight with two, two beads for a little bit of noise. And on the business end of that, I had a missile baits, baby destroyer. I was taking the tips and just dipping a little bit of them in orange. And man, I was able to catch a bunch of fish on that technique. Uh, yeah, I could catch a limit in about an hour uh, pretty pretty easily. So the first day of the tournament, I went out, tried to get, get something going on those deep drains. Those deep drains just were not going on. I caught one two pounder right off the bat and I never had another bite for about two hours. And then I went up the river, got on that Carolina rig deal, and then it was fish, 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 fish. Got me about nine pounds in, uh, I'd say about two hours uh, doing that. And then I ran back down the lake, tried to catch some largemouth. That was not going on. I could not figure that out. So then in the last two hours of the first day, I, I got my drop shot out, broke out the cashing, drop shot rod, broke that out, started, uh, started on some deep structure in about 24 to 32 feet of water. Uh, I was throwing a drop shot with a quarter ounce weight. Uh, I had 12 pound Sunline SX1 braid as the main line. And then on the leader, I had the, the FC Sniper seven pound uh, because I was fishing around a number of brush piles and things to where I wanted to be able to, to kind of get the fish away from them and let, let them fight it out. So I had the seven pound Sniper on there as the uh, with the leader. And then on the business end, I had the brand new missile baits bomb shot. I'm not going to take it out of the bag because I don't want to show you the up close view, but I was uh, alternating between the pink and the green pumpkin of the, uh, of the bomb shot that's coming out this summer. have to keep your eyes peeled for that one. Uh, you may see more action out of that this spring, but uh, that was what I went to those deeper brush piles later, in, later on that first day. Ended up culling all but one of the fish that I had. Had 13-12 the first day, was in about 21st place. Not too bad, not too far out of the top 10. So if I went out and had a good day the second day, I could, uh, I could jump right into the thick of things. One of the other techniques that I caught a couple key fish doing that first day was the Missile Baits 48 fished Neko rig style. I had this, the Gamakatsu G Finesse hook right in the middle of it, just like I was gonna fish it wacky style, but I took a 1 16th ounce weight, stuck it in the big end, and that thing, you can fish it down all the way down 15, 20, even 25 feet of water. And you can fish that thing, letting it go to the bottom, just giving it real light tugs, real light tugs, letting it go back down to the bottom. Those, those spotted bass really were eating that thing up. But uh, I just probably should have fished it a little bit more. Uh, but I did get some of the key bites that first day on, on that, that Missile Baits 48. But on that second day, I went out there and... Man, I figured that I was gonna stay with those deeper spotted bass. Um, went out in the morning, tried a bunch of different new stuff, not a bite. So after about an hour or so of that, I went and fish, started fishing that deeper type stuff that I, that I caught them late the first day on, and man, I did not have a bite. 
until noon. And I kept running new water, places where I'd caught them the day before. I could not get a bite. And then finally, at noon, I stumbled onto an area, uh, caught about a two and a half pounder on that bomb shot. And, and then the next place I went to, I caught four keepers off of. So at one o'clock, I turned around and had a limit. And I knew that, that those fish were not gonna get me into the cut. So I kept largemouth fishing for the next hour and a half, two hours, nothing, nothing. A lot of casting, a lot of reeling, a lot of retrieving, a lot of nothing. And then uh, late in the day, I ended up catching one that culled me up a little bit, but I still ended up about a pound short of the top 25 cut, not even really in contention, even if I'd have squeaked into that. So a little bit disappointing on, um, from that perspective, but uh, I, really I just never figured out how to catch those bigger largemouth that were the key to getting you from that you know, 12, 13 pound area up to that 16, 17 pound area to get you in contention to win. So now we're just gonna turn our focus back to the Elite Series, gonna focus and, and really try to make sure and make that Bassmaster Classic again next year. So when they call my name coming out that tunnel, I've got a bag that'll put myself in contention. So you can guarantee I'll be ready to go here at the next event down in Orange, Texas.